The Lord Jesus told the story of the parable of the wise man and the foolish man. The wise man built his house upon the rock. The foolish man built his house upon the sand. And then the storm came and the house upon the rock stood firm and the house built upon the sand, it fell. Deuteronomy says, oh, that they were wise, that they understood this, that they would consider their latter end. The psalmist said, the fool hath said in his heart, there is no God. When you come to Matthew chapter 1, you read the record of the birth of Christ. And then in chapter 2, we're introduced to wise men. Now, when Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea, in the days of Herod the king, behold, there came wise men from the east to Jerusalem, saying, Where is he that is born king of the Jews? For we have seen his star in the east and are come to worship him. Notice, first of all, the stirring. The stirring of the wise men. Now, the interesting thing is we don't know the actual number of wise men. We don't know their names. We don't even know their nationality. But they were wise men. That means they were learned in science, philosophy, astronomy, astrology. But something stirred in their hearts in a foreign, distant land. It was a star. And they believed that this declared that there was a king born in Israel. How did they know this? Did they know of the prophecy in Numbers chapter 24? I shall see him, but not now. I shall behold him, but not nigh. There shall come a star out of Jacob, and a scepter shall rise out of Israel. Whatever it was, it was his star, the star of the king. And they made a long, wearisome, dangerous journey because they wanted not only to see him, but to worship him. But that was not the only stirring concerning the birth of Christ. Before Christ was born, God stirred the heart of Caesar Augustus, and he made a decree that all the world should be taxed. And it was through that decree that Mary and Joseph made their way from Nazareth to Bethlehem. It was the fulfillment of God's plan for that is where his son was to be born. And then we find Herod was stirred because when he was asked the question concerning the king, he didn't know the answer. And the Bible says he was troubled. He was deeply distressed. Would this threaten his position as king? And so he called together the chief priests and the scribes. And that brings us to the scriptures. Because they were demanded, tell me, says Herod, where Christ should be born, the Messiah. And they searched the scriptures and they said, in Bethlehem of Judea, for thus it is written by the prophet. And thou, Bethlehem, in the land of Judah, Art not least among the princes of Judah, for out of thee shall come a governor that shall rule my people Israel. And there, out of the scriptures, they give the answer to Herod. But do you notice, even though they read the scriptures and searched the scriptures, yet these scribes and chief priests never stirred themselves. They did not go when they heard the news that the Messiah was born. They did not move. You see, it is possible to know the scriptures and yet not know Jesus as your savior. Is that you? Have you been reared in the scriptures and yet you're still not saved? And then finally, that brings us to the savior. Because Herod told the wise men, and the wise men, they were delighted, and they made their way to Bethlehem. They followed the star, and then the star stood over the house where Jesus lay. And the Bible says, when they saw the star, they rejoiced with exceeding great joy. And they came into the house, and they saw 
the young child with Mary his mother, and they fell down and they worshipped him. And then they opened their treasures of gold and frankincense and myrrh, and they presented them to him. Maybe you say to me, but I have no rich present to give to Jesus. Oh, yes, you have, my friend. You have all the Saviour wants. He says, give me thine heart. Will you today just open your heart to the Lord Jesus and present it to him and receive him as your Saviour? And as many as receive him, to them give he the power to become the sons of God. May God help you to do so. Heavenly Father, bless your word to our hearts. For Jesus' sake, amen. From my heart to yours, home to yours. God bless you.